The evidence before this court does not support the state's contention that this could be a case of dolus eventualis. On the contrary, the evidence shows that from the onset, the accused believed that at the time he fired shots into the toilet door, the deceased was in the bedroom while the intruders were in the toilet. This belief was communicated to a number of people shortly after the incident. At 300 hours 19, the accused disclosed this to Johann Stander when he requested him to come quickly to his house. At 3.22, he told his version to Caris Filiun on her arrival in the company of her father, Stander. A few minutes later, the same information was relayed to Dr. Stipp when he arrived at the accused house. And lastly, it was told to the police at about 4 o'clock in the morning the same day. Counsel for the defense correctly argued that it was highly improbable that the accused would have made this up so quickly and be consistent in his version, even at the bail application, before he had access to the police docket and before he was privy to the evidence on behalf of the state at the bail application. The question is, did the accused foresee the possibility of the resultant death, yet persisted in his deed, reckless whether death ensured or not? In the circumstances of this case, the answer has to be no. How could the accused reasonably have foreseen that the shot he fired would kill the deceased? Clearly, he did not subjectively foresee this as a, pos as a possibility that he would kill the person behind the door, let alone the deceased as he thought she was in the bedroom at the time. To find otherwise would be tantamount to saying that the accused reaction after he realized that he had shot the deceased was faked, that he was play acting merely to delude the onlookers at the time. Dr. Stipp, an independent witness who was at the accused house minutes after the incident had occurred, stated that the accused looked genuinely distraught as he prayed to God and as he pleaded with him to help save the deceased. There was nothing to gainsay that observation and this court has not been given any reason to reject it and we accept it as true and reliable. <laughs>